That's a good bluegill for here. Just in case I get a mess of them. That's not the start we need, but I'll take a fish right there. That's a active fish right now. We got major wind conditions. We're having to hide in these coves, and you can see these fish are still stacked up on these brush piles and stuff. Pretty cool, and they are active. But small right now. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna keep looking. All right, here we have a big structure coming in. It's got a lot of fish on it. We're, we are assuming we're gonna catch a fish here. Um, you can find big piles like this and just, they're sporadic, they already got one. Oh my gosh, this is, they're just coming after me. And there it is, first fish. Looking for bigger fish. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger, but he still ain't gonna cut the mustard. No, 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 no. All right, but you can see, all I'm doing is going, I'm trying to stay out of the wind, priority number one. Wind these days, stay out of the wind. Don't, I mean, I guess if you want to challenge yourself, you can, but the uh, I'm all about having fun and enjoying myself on these evenings, and so that's what we're doing today. We are just throwing a nice little hair jig, three pound fishing hair jig, and you look closely on these structures, you can see fish just everywhere. And of course, some are gonna be active and some are not. So what I like to do is I like to hit the active ones and then I'll throw a float on if I wanna spend the time on this pile. And we do it all the time in the guide trips. Oh man, he did hit it, I can't believe it. There's another one down there. I hope you guys can see that because that's a pretty cool picture there. He coming back over. Oh yeah, we're gonna give it to the big guy. This is the big one, hopefully he hits it. Come on, baby. Oh, baby. Now what I will do is I will change the bait. A hair jig's gonna drop really fast, so I need to put it under float if I'm gonna do it that way. But on this particular episode, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to a paddle tail. That'll keep it up in a water column really high because these fish that I'm gonna go after are near that same structure, but they're extremely shallow. We're looking at maybe two feet. And one way to keep it up in the water column is for sure go to a plastic one and certainly one with action is gonna usually stay up in the water column a lot better. There we go. Ah, step up, a little step up. I think these guys hanging off the pile are bigger. Not much though. There we go. Listen to that braid, folks. That's solid right there, boy. Good fish. Good fish. Changing up the techniques today. Good fish. Whack. They go. They let them go. Fish in brush piles, working around the spawning areas. Water temperature 63 on a very, very windy day. Just finding some areas that are out of the wind. Reacting to the movement of the fish. So when the fish are moving towards the bait, I'm reacting and speeding it up and doing things to hopefully intrigue the bite. It's gonna be a big part of fishing, trust me. Or it already is, I know that. You can overcome some finickiness of the fish if you can play them. There we go. Good fish. That's a good fish right there. You 
using the three pound fishing paddle tails. Check them out. You can also should be checking out those let's go fishing packs. Those things are awesome. That's good fish right there. That's a solid fish right there. All right, we let them go. You gotta love the spawn, man, everywhere. Now, I'm overall, I'm not the, I'm not the biggest fan of the spawn because basically fish are everywhere. There's no system to it other than go shallow, hit the structures. But that's what we do. I love hitting the structures outside of the spawning area, and uh, of course, I love just brush pile fishing. That's my number one thing. So if I can find fish on a brush pile outside of a spawning area, uh, that's what my favorite thing to do. So. Doing that tonight, I'm trying to find some additional areas for guide trips this week, and um, yeah, and yeah, we've been crushing it on the guide trips. So check out the original fish formula, hog fishing, the nets are incredible. The new rods, yes, they're on their way. I get a lot of messages about them. When are they gonna come in? They are done completely, and they're being shipped right as we speak. So I, sus I suspect we're gonna see those very, very soon and I can't wait and as they I know they're within two weeks out I'll be doing a pre-sale so look forward to that so sickness great we're gonna be hitting Millwood here and the next episodes after this will probably be the Millwood episodes and uh, that's the crappie masters elite series the number one series in crappie fishing without a doubt a lot of fun a lot of fun so uh, I don't know let's find a couple more fish here uh, we're looking for a bigger fish unfortunately we are kind of hindered by the wind and so what's great about the spawn truthfully is that they are everywhere so you can find a cove that's kind of out of the wind and catch fish in that cove just as much as any other cove so that's what we're going to do here let's do it now i've added a weight and again you because you can do everything in the spawn because right now we're going all the way down to 14 feet to get some fish and um i don't know they just seem to be stacked the way i like to see them if they're going to be active and sure enough here they come boy and there they are you can do it all i'm telling you That's the fish of the day. Look at that guy. Sitting on a stump. Almost, almost a two pound fish. Look at that. Wow. What a beautiful fish. So there you go guys. Some spawning things you can do. A little bit of everything in this video. I know late night, we're gonna let him go of course. Go have fun. The uh, it's gonna be a great season for guide trips. If you guys haven't considered it, please do. If you're Southern Illinois area, you guys check out the original fish formula, crappie formulation. That bottle is just about done on hair jigs. It's something I don't show enough, but I'm telling you, it's on my hair jigs a lot. Check it out, crappie formulation at baitpop.com or the original fish formula.com. So check them out. And uh, today, again, sniping braid, 10 pound optimal. It is truly optimal. Have a great one. Till the next episode, probably Millwood.